find all solutions to the equation x to the fourth minus x squared minus 56 is equal to zero. This is a fourth order polynomial and because this is a fourth order polynomial you're guaranteed that it will have four solutions. Now some of those solutions might be real and some might be complex. So to begin we can take this equation right here and recognize that it is quadratic in x squared and because it is quadratic in x squared we can factor. Well, 7 times 8 is 56, so we will put an 8 here and a 7 over here. And in order to get a negative right here, this will be minus 8 and plus 7. So it's worthwhile at this point doing FOIL and checking to see that that factoring is correct, and it is because x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. If you check the outside terms, this is a plus 7x squared. This is a minus 8x squared, and that gives you a minus x squared. And finally, minus 8 times positive 7 is negative 56, so we have factored correctly. If you treat each of these factors, this one and this one, as the difference of squares, then what you can do is write the first term as x plus the square root of 8 times x minus the square root of 8. So that gives you the factoring of this first term in this fashion. This is a little less obvious as the difference of squares, but if you factor this as x minus the square root of negative 7. I guess we'll start with a plus here. And then x minus the square root of negative 7. And you go back and check by doing FOIL here, you will see you will get this quantity right here. So now what we have is we have one thing times another times another times another is equal to zero. But before we break it out, let's simplify a little bit. And that is x plus 2 square root of 2. And that can be done because the square root of 8 is the same as the square root of 4 times 2. Multiplied by x minus 2 square root of 2 multiplied by x plus the square root of 7 times i times x minus the square root of 7 times i is equal to 0. Now at this point we do have one thing times another times another times another is equal to zero. So either this one is zero, this one is zero, this one is zero, or this one is zero. Let's start at the far left. First one says x plus 2 square root of 2 is equal to zero. Second one says x minus 2 square root of 2 is equal to 0. The next one says x plus the square root of 7 times i is equal to 0. And finally the last one says x minus the square root of 7 times i is equal to 0. So all four of these equations have to be solved separately. This first equation is solved by subtracting 2 square root of 2 from both sides of the equation. When you subtract, subtract 2 times the square root of 2 from the left-hand side, you get x. When you subtract 2 times the square root of 2 from the right-hand side, you get negative 2 square root of 2. 
Next equation. You solve this equation by adding 2 times the square root of 2 to both sides. When you add 2 times the square root of 2 to the left-hand side, you get x. When you add 2 times the square root of 2 to the right-hand side, you get 2 times the square root of 2. Notice that these first two solutions to, to the equation are both real valued. Now for the next two equations, solving those for x, the way you do that with this equation, you subtract the square root of 7 times i from both sides. So when you subtract the square root of 7 times i from the left hand side, you get x. When you subtract the square root of 7 i from the right hand side, you get negative square root of 7 times i. And finally, and remember that i is not underneath the square root. And finally, at the end, you have this last equation here, which you'd like to solve. And you do so by adding the square root of 7 times i to both sides of the equation. When you add the square root of 7 times i to the left-hand side of the equation, you get x. When you add the square root of 7 times i to the right-hand side of the equation, you get the square root of 7 times i. So here are the four roots, two real and two complex, that solve this particular equation. It would probably be worthwhile at this point to go back to this equation, plug in each of these four to make sure that you get zero in all cases.